Welcome back, Smile Jammers. She found her passion by creating art pieces that celebrate black men and women in an authentic way. Joining us this morning is artist, founder of Inspired by Tyler, Tyler Clark. Hi, morning, Tyler. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am great. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us. Um, Tyler, why do you think it's important to not just celebrate uh, black men and women, but to celebrate them through hair? Yes, I feel like hair is so close to our identity as, as black women. And I wanted to find a very unique way to showcase our beauty. I want to tell the narrative that we could do whatever we want with our hair and it can still be amazing. It could be natural. We could wear a sew-in. We could wear it in locks, twists, braids. We have so many options and it's all beautiful. Representation is important. I know sometimes I search online for images and I can't find any. Um, how important is that to you that, that black men and women are represented in an authentic way and in a wholesome way? Yes, absolutely. I feel like there are way too many images floating out there that do not show us in a favorable way. Yeah. And I want to change that narrative. I think that it is very important to continue to showcase us in a beautiful way. And that's what I really want to do with my work. All right. So tell me about your work and, and just how much your work is helping to change that narrative. Yes, absolutely. So my brand is inspired by Tyler and I'm a 3D mixed media hair artist. Mm -hmm. My goal really is to highlight black beauty through my hair art. I want to showcase us in all these different ways and showing the versatility of our hair from locks to twists to afros to relaxed. Um, there's just so many different options for us. And um, I really try to create artwork that could you know, really be beautiful from any perspective so that it's not just in people that are, you know, black and brown, but really, you know, any eye from any different background could see beauty in my work. And therefore, if you see beauty in what you see um, through my artwork, it might make you want to treat people a little bit differently. Absolutely. And, and, and when you see beauty in it, you'll treat yourself differently as well because you can look Absolutely. at... Absolutely. Yes. But Tyler, I'm looking at the work and I'm like, but Tyler could have a, a beauty salon. This looks like you sat down and did the hair. Walk, walk me through the process. <laughs> yes. So first I start off with a sketch and then I paint my artwork and then I start adding the hair. Now this is the part that can get a little fun um, because there's so many different styles that I can create on my art. And so, yeah, I do think I probably could have my own beauty salon. <laughs> I used to want one when I was a little girl. So... <laughs> No, this is amazing. We're seeing the process now on TV. So uh, you actually are doing the hair. How long does it take to do to do a piece on average? Because I know depending on hairstyle, it may take a little bit a little bit longer than others. But how long? How long? Yeah, does you know, there are so many different components. So it can be, you know, like. Um, so many different areas of it. It's, it's, it's not just the type of artwork that I'm doing, but it's also like, what do I have going on in my personal life? So okay. I find if I am at peace and if I'm in a good space, I can create artwork quickly. There are pieces I've finished in just a few days, yeah. but then I just finished a piece recently that took me over two years to get to the point of completion of the artwork. Yes, yes, I know the process very well. This, did you even imagine that this would have been so popular? I mean, you've had some of the biggest names uh, in music and, and, and in arts saying, listen, I need to have a piece inspired by Tyler. Yeah, I never really thought that it would be this. I always knew that I had a special calling over my life, but I didn't know that it would be through art and especially not hair art because I never saw anything like this before until I started doing it. Yes. And, and I, I knew that I wanted to tell my story. I knew that I had a very unique perspective and outlook on the world. And I just think that it's so amazing how God has really gifted me with the ability to tell my story through artwork. It's very important what you just said, uh, Tyler, because you used to do a corporate job, <laughs> nine to five, and then decided that, you know, this is what, this is my passion, this is my calling. And I feel that's important because your calling is to, is, to, is to make people feel so much better about themselves and who they are and identity. How important is that for us as, as people of color to, to respond to that type of calling? I think we, we're locked into, 
I got to do the nine to five because this is what is going to make it look as if I'm a, I'm a, I'm a worthwhile citizen and not, yeah. and not get drawn into the things that are part of our DNA. Yes. You know, I, I think it's a very delicate balance, right? I think, you know, growing up, there's so much emphasis on losing sight of what you're passionate about and doing what is guaranteed success. Mm -hmm. And I really try to challenge that norm by encouraging young people and even people that are older than me to pursue passion again, and that there's room for both. Before I quit my job, I was doing both for five years diligently. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want people to just think that they could jump fully into creativity and entrepreneurship because I want them to have a very stable business acumen so that it's not just taking this leap of faith without putting that work in because I do really believe that both have to go hand in hand in order to find that success and peace around it. Yeah. So I want to encourage people to pursue the passion, but also to build the skill set around it so that you are desirable and you have a business that can flourish. And I also have to be honest, this is not an easy journey for me. Oh. Um, and, and as the world is shifting again, I have to pivot with it. And so it takes a lot of agility in order to keep up with what's going on around you. Yeah. You, you, you're a math and mechanical engineer genius. <laughs> Listen, Spellman and Georgia Tech, not easy, not easy to complete. Do you think that that also um, kind of impacts the way you do art? Yes, absolutely. I am an engineer at heart. So I think um, one of the things that actually made me want to be an engineer is I thought it was creative and innovative. And so really what I'm doing now is applying my problem solving skills. Maybe it's not the same level of technical details as in mechanical engineering, but I'm applying that same level of just wanting to be innovative to my art process and all the things that I've got going on behind the scenes as well. So I'm very big on how can I make things more efficient? It's amazing, Tyler. Um, for folks who are watching here in Jamaica who want to get a piece inspired by Tyler, how do we do that? Yes, absolutely. I would love it if you were one of my collectors. You can check out my website at www.inspire, I-N-S-P-I-R-E, by Tyler, B-Y-T-Y-L-E-R.com. Awesome. Guys, please go check it out. You know, you know, representation is important and positive representation is is what we live for. So thank you so much, Tyler, for all that you do. So great meeting you. Yes, thank you so much for having me. All right, that's Tyler Clark, artist and founder of Inspired by Tyler. Make sure you go check her out, right?